and Jens. We all know them, we all love them, and they've been in the game since day one. But, unfortunately, they have one fatal flaw. They're too common. So, I took it upon myself to answer one question. What went wrong? For the people who are new to Deepoken, let me quickly expand my enchants are to the best of my ability. Enchants are, as the name suggests, an enhanced version of a weapon or equipment that you can get, which aims to improve the user's experience with a certain buff, or blessing as it's officially called. Some blessings are simple, such as gluttony, which allow the user to steal hunger and thirst from their target based on damage dealt. Others are not so simple, but are still pretty useful, such as heroism, which allow the user to do 4% more damage for every 5% of HP above 75%, and when below 25% does the same until you hold the zero. And that's just for weapons. Armor enchants, however, are a little less sought after, as there are less enchant options available to them, and they don't really have as much to offer compared to the weapons. With one exception, however, Drowned, which adds 10 health, 10 ether, 5% monster damage, and 5% monster armor on top of the innate stats that it comes with. I don't know about you guys, but I would gladly take that over any other equipment enchant. Anyways, I saw a comment somewhere where someone said, that even the worst performing enchants are still usable, given how if you were to face someone with the same things as you, but theirs weren't enchanted, you'd be at an advantage. Albeit a little one, but it's still something. I think that is a perfect crown rule for all enchants. So you may be thinking right now, well, all that's pretty cool, and it is, but the devs didn't stop there, as they also decided to add curses to the game, which are basically another version of enchants that give arguably better buffs, but at the cost of having a flaw weighing it down for balancing purposes. So. Now that you're all caught up with the, what enchants are, let's finally talk about the history of them, shall we? Now that might have been a lot to take in, but the most important part here is the rarity of them. Back then, the chances to get an enchant were extremely rare, and barely anyone had them or even knew how to get them. They were a pretty big mystery, and if you were lucky enough to have one, you'd almost be seen as a god within the game. I'm not sure what the exact rates were back then, as no one seemed to know when I asked around on the server, but just know they were pretty damn rare. This all changed, however, on March 27th, 2022, when on that fateful day, enchant rates were buffed by three times their normal amount, as well as making it so that once you equip an enchant, it would be soul bound to you and you would carry it even after death. Now, the community's response to this seemed to be pretty positive for the most part, and looking back, I'd say this was a good stopping point as far as enchants go. But the devs said no, because less than a month later, on April 11th, 2022, the enchant rates got buffed again by an unknown amount. The community's response this time, however, was pretty mixed. Some people were complaining that the three times enchant rates weren't enough because they saw too many people with them and were getting ganked by people with loads of them and whatnot. While others seemed to be excited and said that it was the best part of the update given how their luck was so bad. And it wasn't until three months of no change later on September 12th, 2022 that the rates would get buffed once again, this time by two times what they were by this point. However, it was all in celebration of Deep Open winning the new best game award in the 2022 Roblox Innovation Awards, which was a showcase of the best games of the year split into certain categories. That's also where this be more the clip originated from. The award for best new experience goes to... Deep Woken! Everybody was ecstatic and filled with joy that Deep Woken had won, and so naturally that excitement carried over into Enchant, and before you know, everybody was on the grind looking for them given how they did say it would be temporary. But to everyone's surprise, a little less than a month later, on October 3rd, 2022, they announced that the double Enchant rates were there to stay. The announcement read, since people have been asking, we're going to keep the 2 times enchant rate for winning best new experience as a new default rate, and won't be reverting it. This was great because it showed they were actually listening to the community interest in higher rates, and at the time, it was great, but little did we know that this exact moment is when all things would go downhill. This one fatal mistake eventually snowballed into the overabundance of enchants we have today, but we just didn't know it. That piled along with this, and this, and this led to where we are today. The devs have been way too nice and have given us way too many ways to obtain enchants. What used to be the rarest items that anyone could obtain could now be obtained extremely easily. This has essentially stripped them of all their legendary status that they once had and I think everyone nowadays would agree if you ask what they think about this. So how could this be fixed? Well unfortunately it seems that it can't. The damage has already been done and there are so many ways to obtain enchants that even if we removed all these additional ways of obtaining them and reverted everything back to how it originally was, there would still be countless and I mean countless 
amounts of them sitting around in bank slots just waiting to be traded and put back into the economy. Technically they could do that as well as just void every unsold bounded enchant and call it a day, but of course the devs would receive massive backlash on the community if they did, even with the current value of enchants. It's actually more fair to see a max level not having one now, with the exception of legendary weapons or hero blades of course, which did I mention were once enchantable? Yeah, hero blades were once enchantable, which is just crazy to think about, but that basically needs another video of its own. All I'll say is that I'm glad those aren't around anymore, other ones that probably stay as the main meta for the game forever. So to wrap this video, I just wanted to say that I spent quite some time on this video between writing the script, doing the research, editing, and more. And if you're listening to this right now, that means you've watched until the end and I could not appreciate it more. I would also appreciate it if you guys could like and subscribe as it's free and it helps me out a ton and it turns out that only a very small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. I also wanted to say that for the sake of this video not being too long, I didn't cover things such as the mechanics and some fun facts about the engines. But if you would like a part 2 of this video where I do mention those things, then please let me know in the comments. So yeah, that's pretty much it. History of engines. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.